Yo, it's Brandon Styles, and today I'm going to show you some really cool tools for generating an awesome color palette for your website or for your app. So if you check this video right here, last week I showed you how to just come up with a cool color palette on your own. That's something I struggle with as a designer, coming up with a fresh, cool color palette that works across different devices, looks modern, but is also not cliche. I also showed you a couple tools in there and I'll feature those today, but I wanted to show you some really cool other tools. Some of them use AI to generate color palettes. Anyhow, I thought I would dive into some of these tools, show you how you can come up with some color palettes, or maybe you're just not feeling inspired and you could come up with some palettes on your own. So let's dive in and see how to use these really cool tools. Cool tools. Cool tools. Cool tools. All right, the first tool I'm showing you is called Color Hunt. Now, Color Hunt is very simple. It just shows you handpicked what they call trendy color palettes. So if you're ever just feeling uninspired, you can come here and just scroll through some great color palettes. Now again, if you go back and watch that video, you'll know that you're not just taking, for example, these four colors, black and white, and then you're running with it, right? There are some other shades you have to get. But if you're like, you know, I kind of, I know I want some sort of green palette, but I'm not sure which ones and exactly what color greens, this one is a really quick way to get the job done for you. And let's say you don't love these colors. So let's say I wanted to pick out this kind of green color right here. So that's 63B7AF. You click it and you copy it and then you can paste it into Photoshop or whatever. But I'm going to go to the next tool and that's going to be Adobe Color Wheel. Now this is the OG of like picking out color palettes. And here's what you do. Whatever color you pick out, you want to paste into the middle. The middle is kind of your home base, all right? So you're gonna put it in there, it's that color we just copied, and it's gonna give you all of these matching colors. These are analogous colors. So they're all kind of on this line in the color wheel. If you wanted some kind of different looks though, you would keep this base color and then you could see what monochromatic look like. Or I think Regis Philbin in the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 90s. But monochromatic is kind of coming around. We saw that in the Facebook site. They use a lot of monochromatic grays in that case to kind of make different elements pop out. Kind of the ones you think about when you think of different varying colors are these two. So the triad and then of course complementary colors are going to be at total ends of the spectrum. They complement each other. But these are really going to stand out, right? If you put this brown, let's say, over this light blue, it's going to really stand out. You can also do all kinds of double splits, squares. I don't even know what some of these are. Here's kind of another take on monochromatic right here. Just a lot of really cool options and that's the Adobe Color Wheel. You can also just drag it around and find something that plays out to you. And here's how you can find some of those shades like we talked about in that other video. Again, the trick with this one is just to make sure you paste it in the middle, your base color. This next tool we also looked at in that other video and it's the Colors Interactor. So once you create your palette, you paste it in here and you can see how all the different palettes go together and which colors work and don't. For example, this color to me does not work, it vibrates my eyes. But the one next to it is really nice, right? Again, this one right here vibrates my eyes, but I really like this one next to it. So it places all of your colors, and look, you've got some really cool chromatics going on right here, places all of your colors onto these squares so you can see what works and what doesn't. You could even just keep that open as you're designing. The next tool we're gonna look at is called Picular, and that is Google, but for colors. You ever wanted to come up with a color palette, but you were like, I, I know the feel I want, but I don't know exactly what kind of colors go with that. This is your spot. So for example, maybe you were designing for a new coffee shop or a coffee brand. Well, you can just type in coffee right here, and it's gonna pull up all the colors that are typically associated with coffee and the kind of feelings that coffee brings up, right? You think those warm, maybe fall, wintery colors, like very homey, very cozy colors. Now let's say you wanted to do fresh. And this is probably what you think of when you think of fresh. You think of plants, like lots of fresh food, so lots of greens and bright colors and things like that. Now let's say you wanted to look at something like we've got July 4th coming up. So let's type in Independence Day. All right, good. So again, kind of some vibrant reds. Of course, you've got your blues in there, some golds, um, things like that. So this is a really good way to take the mood that you want to achieve for, for a page. Uh, maybe you could even type something like expensive. Take the mood that you want for a page and bring it out using colors. And this doesn't surprise me right here. Like what's really in, you think of like the Kardashian brands and things like that, muted colors, monochromatic, things of that nature. 
This next tool I'm going to show you is called Flat UI Colors. This was a really big game changer for me because a lot of times the stock blues and stock reds that come in Photoshop or Canva or things like that, they don't look really good. They don't look really good on the screen. So what this site has done is it has accumulated colors that look really good on the modern web. So here's like the original flat UI palette. And so you can see like these greens right here are really nice greens. They don't wear your eyes out. They don't make anything vibrate or blurry. Same with kind of these, what I would think of as like navy blues and grays and reds. And best of all, they've got all kinds of palettes here of colors that are made to, like, here's a French one. This one's more vibrant. Different colors according to different countries that stick out and people are used to seeing. So maybe you've got an enterprise site and you're designing for England and America. Well, you can see the difference in these two colors, right? This British one's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit darker. You could start with those colors and then bring these over on your American palette site. So really good option for tapping into the culture of a color scheme. This next tool is really cool, it's called Chroma. So this tool uses AI to learn which colors you like and it creates a bunch of palettes for you. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward because you have to select like 50 different colors. You can kind of scroll down and see what it is. It's a personalized algorithm. You've got a lot of color combinations. So this is what you do, you click get started and then you have to choose a set of 50 colors. So I'm gonna do that really quick right now, the ones that I really like. And see, look, when I got down here, I guess I was picking a lot of blues, you can kind of see. So it recommends that you pick more oranges and reds to improve that. So I'm going to kind of focus on that for a minute. All right, one more color. Let's do this green. If you're satisfied, now it's going to train a neural network to come up with your perfect color palette. So we'll click Start Training. All right, now we're starting to see our neural network being trained. So it's 12% of the way done, and the accuracy is counted as being 95% accurate to, I guess, a case of, of inputs and outputs for the neural network we're creating right here. So I'm going to pause this, and we'll be back when it finishes. All right, so our model has been trained, and we have been given our color palettes. It kind of gives you some prompts right here for your next steps. But these are some colors that this has put together that it thinks I would like. And I do actually like a lot of these. And you're kind of seeing my design tendencies come out in this. Like you're seeing a little bit of a muted look, a little bit of a monochromatic look, you know, kind of like a darker purple with a lighter purple -ish blue thing right there. But yeah, a lot of these colors I really do like. Like I think they, they stick out to me and it's something that I would use on my own stuff. And of course, it's just endlessly scrolling and you can go on and on and on. So really, really cool tool is the chroma.co. The final tool in our color tools today is this one, leonardocolor.io. Accessibility has made a huge push on the web. And so contrast of colors is a really big part of accessibility. For example, it's way easier to see black on white than it is to see light gray on a white background. And so what Leonardo does is it can take your color schemes and it can help come up with an accessible palette for those. So you could start, if you wanted to increase the contrast ratio, you had this green color, all right? But you wanted to increase the contrast ratio of it so that people could see it better. Well, you can take it down here and you can bring it up to 10 even if you wanted to. And so that's going to be the most contrast. And then right here, you can see this one is going to be the least contrast. So this just helps you to generate different colors kind of based on what you're putting in that are going to be easier to read for accessible users. So maybe if someone has their accessibility set to a setting that seems to be for people with poorer eyesight, then you could tell your CSS to target these rules instead of this one right here. So it's just a really cool option. So that's it for my favorite color tools right now. I hope that was insightful and helpful. And maybe the next time you get stuck on a color palette like I do all the time, you can use some of these tools to either find a cool palette or to just get the creative juices flowing. Please subscribe to my channel if that was helpful. It just helps me to create these videos for you. I'm Brandon Styles. Thanks so much for watching.